Hello and welcome back to the channel and once again this is going to be a little bit different. Now I was just scrolling through Roblox thinking of a video idea and I saw this game called Frontlines and I've seen a couple of big YouTubers play it so I thought why not. I then clicked to play it and this is the game in the background. It is so realistic that I can't believe it's Roblox. It even has a kill cam. Now this is incredibly like some of the Call of Duty franchise games and I thought let's give it a go now this particular one is kill confirmed so you have to grab tags and deposit them once you've killed someone so let's try and get this kill here I haven't played this too much there we go that's our first kill of the round grab the tags and let's see if we can get another one on the way to the deposit I don't think we're going to but we can always try now I still can't believe this game is actually Roblox like can you believe that all of this detail, and look at the detail, it even has the light of my laser. It's like shadowed. It's amazing. Truly. Now this game is actually made by a team called Maximilian. Now they are amazing game devs, and I'm not sure if there's actually kill streaks in this game yet or not. I think they're actually going to like add them in the future because this game has only just come out I'm pretty sure so it's gonna be nice especially because as a first release this game has already enticed me for like three hours so I look forward to future updates as well you guys can play this as well all you need to do is go into your Roblox launcher or your Roblox app if you're on mobile or console and just type in front lines and it should be the number one thing that comes up so you guys can play this for yourself as well let's see if we can get a different game mode after this match and let's show you that now this is kill confirmed again but we're on a different map this time we just got into this one so no one's got any kills yet let's see if I can be the first there we go wasn't too hard I'm not sure where everyone's went all I can really see is my own team now let's see if we can get up to maybe a five kills in this one thing before we die hopefully we can there are people that are getting like 20 so hopefully well it didn't really go too well now did it but there is something that I actually want to show you in the lobby a there is a flashback or kill cam but if I click quit to lobby there's actually an entire loading screen here so you can see your actual loadout down bottom mid and then along the top there's multiple things including your loadout editor which I'll show you in a minute the in-game store, your profile, and your settings. You can actually change your keybinds as well, which I find quite nice. But if you actually go into your loadout editor, not only can you choose different guns based on what level you are, as you can see, I'm only level five, so I can only choose between the MP5 and the M4. But there are actually multiple things that you can change about your weapon. So you can change your stock, your rear grip, your magazine, your receiver, Literally everything about this you can change. So I've got a customized optic, a, I think, yeah, AR compressor, a extended stock, and just basically everything else is default except for the tactical laser that I have. And yeah, I haven't upgraded my secondary yet, but the actual premise of upgrading your guns and it actually saving to your profile in Roblox, along with all of this detail and game mechanics is absolutely insane to me well we got a pistol kill so that's nice but let's see if we can get another one let's try and upgrade our secondary now there is no uh, KD on this sadly but there is a score at the end of each match I'm terrible at FPS games apparently. I don't want to watch that. Now you can skip the kill cam if you want to, if you're toxic like me. And don't really want to watch yourself die twice. Now let's see if we can get another pistol kill. Oh, uh, I think we got that actually just before we died, so that would be nice. Now I think that's enough pistol kills for now. Let's see if we can win this last game. Or at least get one last kill. We cannot, apparently. That is one thing about this game. It will take a lot of practice. I've been playing for three, 
four hours now, and as you can see, I've got some kills, but I'm definitely not the best one here. So yeah, definitely bear that in mind if you go to try this yourself. I don't know how that guy killed me without a weapon, but okay. So yeah, just bear in mind that before you play this for yourself. Now, it, I have played this on mobile as well, and it is a lot easier on keyboard and mouse, in my opinion. And But you can play it on basically everything you can get Roblox on, you can play this game. It is not constrained to just one platform, which I find quite nice. Now, if you are playing on mobile, you don't have to worry about joining into a PC lobby or a controller lobby because they have separate servers for mobile so you are playing against other mobile players so it's not considered unfair like that anyway now I am actually kind of finding this game really nice so come play Frontlines for yourself and I'm gonna continue playing this see ya